the the crux of the answer comes down to whether or not we change uh, what we're trying to do. So if um, if I'm continuing, you know, at one level, if I'm continuing to do something in, in kind of an industrial age kind of way, but I've got all this information coming at me, uh, that, but I haven't changed my output. So I've got all these different inputs, but I'm trying to do the same output. Then that doesn't, then it, then it's, 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 it's actually hurting me, right? Um, if, however, I'm trying to, I've adjusted what I want to do. If I've adjusted my, uh, what I think my output is, uh, then I need different inputs. Um, so I think that's one of the challenges is um, we have to broaden what we consider the definition of people's scope of their job. And, and so platforms like social platforms inside the enterprise, uh, all kinds of mobile technologies, these are enabling us to have uh, flatter hierarchies Yes, and we have to change the organization to realize that people at all levels of the organization can now have different outputs. That while you still have to, you might still, even if you work on a production line, you still have to touch or produce a certain number of units a day. You still have uh, the ability to output ideas and thoughts on how to change the process and how to change the organization in a way that didn't exist before. And not only do you have that opportunity, but that should actually be part of your job. So I think it could really empower people at all levels of the organization, uh, but it's only going to do that if we realize uh, that we have these new capabilities um, and, and we change organizationally to make use of them. Otherwise, um, we're just going to uh, be forcing uh, more and more information down, you know, the same size uh, hose and expecting something to change. And it's, you know, it's not going to. So 